When the Coder School first opened in May of 2019, it thrived on the face-to-face -face teaching between coaches and kids. What is the exposition of this player? That teaching looks a little different today, like most everything else. The only things I've done from the videos make my variable player one and player two. We quickly be able to, you know, adjust and, and, and pivot and, and, and create this online platform. One thing that we offer is, you know, it's a free hour of, of trial. So, um, you know, there, there's no obligations, uh, doesn't cost parents anything. And because of that, co-owner Patrick T says interest is picking up for this after-school activity. I like coding because it's a good way that I can just use my imagination and it's really easy once you get the hang of it. For parents who have to juggle work from home and lessons for their kids, this one hour of interaction with someone outside of the home is a blessing, even if it is virtual. And I really think that Evan's been getting just as much attention uh, in the on-school or online class as he has been on location. You need to ha have it coded to do something when you press the button. Ibu Woke is one of four siblings taking the coder school. Their mom says it's something all of them look forward to once a week. I think it's more seamless for them than for us as parents because they're naturally gadget kids, right? Yeah. So they were easy to adapt, easy to follow the instructor, and it's just been a, a, a pleasant experience. And for the coaches, it's a relief knowing they still have a job under these uncertain times. It's more of a sign of, you know, why this field is amazing because it's every, it, you can do it everywhere. It is everywhere. So do you see how here I have two variables, but I'm returning three variables? Mm -hmm. Whenever this pandemic passes, it's clear these kids have big plans to make the world better. I want to code something that helps um, homeless people like live like maybe like this robot that like goes and gets them food or something so they don't starve or freeze.